you made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. <laughs> Remembers me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, he thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Apostles. Are we doing this? Mm-hmm. 
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Well, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Oh boy. Right. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go.
another crystal. Huh. What now? Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? and what we need is all the way down there. Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. Seems ill advised. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We. Yes. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thor. Rising! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thor. 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 Head, how is this possible? My guess, temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well... Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the wolf! Bring him down! Oh, Oh, 
to writing before the floor collapses. Having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. for destroying things. Remember that, Head. Never leaves my mind. 
Those are the guys we saw with Baldur, his nephews. Aye, Magni and Modi, the sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods, and Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? They'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. There. Oh, yes. Nova! You just can't help but break things, can you? Memory serves. The Yarl stone was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. <laughs> 